Empaths often carry the weight of childhood traumas, and it's essential to explore the dual nature of empathy as both a blessing and a challenge. Discover how to navigate past experiences to create a brighter future. Empaths possess an extraordinary sensitivity to the emotions, moods, and energy of others. They possess an uncanny ability to discern discrepancies between spoken words and underlying feelings. Empaths experience the emotions of others as intensely as their own whether positive or negative. Consequently, they often prefer the solace of a select few trusted individuals or carefully chosen social settings, as the inundation of everyone's energies in a crowd can be overwhelming. Empathy is undoubtedly a valuable gift, finding utility in the realms of healing, social interactions, and professional environments. However, it can also be an arduous gift, blurring the lines between personal emotions and external influences, leading to the exhaustive task of processing others' emotions at the expense of one's well-being. The link between empathy and childhood trauma, there appears to be a correlation between heightened empathic abilities and experiences of childhood trauma, although it remains uncertain which factor predates the other. Empathic individuals often become emotional lightning rods within their families, absorbing and expressing the collective emotional turmoil, particularly in the face of unaddressed issues. These empaths may manifest emotional symptoms on behalf of the entire family, often without adequate support or resolution. Consequently, they may resort to various forms of acting out or suffer from conditions like disordered eating, chronic illness, or other psychological challenges. In certain circumstances, a child's empathy may develop as a survival mechanism. In abusive, turbulent, or high-stress environments, a child's heightened sensitivity to others' needs and emotions can serve as a defense mechanism allowing them to anticipate and navigate potential threats. In situations where emotional expression is discouraged or punished, empaths may endure the burden of silently experiencing not only their own, but also everyone else's emotions, potentially leading to chronic health issues or emotional pain later in life. Establishing energetic boundaries for empaths, fortunately, Empaths can cultivate emotional and energetic boundaries to regain their sense of self-care and self-preservation. This process doesn't entail shutting out others, but rather involves managing the energies they allow in and when they allow them. With self-awareness and harnessing their unique abilities, empaths can use them to benefit both themselves and others, akin to superheroes. Here are some strategies to facilitate this transformation. Seek guidance from a counselor. Counselors can provide valuable tools for recognizing personal needs and boundaries and equip empaths with the skills to assert these boundaries. The process may involve processing and integrating past traumatic experiences. Practice the shield meditation. Visualize an energetic shield or bubble that selectively permits desired energies to enter. Listen to a guided meditation for this purpose. Try the clearing light meditation. Envision a cleansing light that purges energies not belonging to you. Listen to a guided meditation for this purpose. Question your feelings. When experiencing intense emotions, inquire whether they truly belong to you by asking, is this mine? This simple question can often help release external emotions. Cast the not mine spell. If you suspect you've absorbed someone else's energy, confidently repeat the phrase, not mine three times aloud. It can function as a symbolic act of release. Cultivate energetic hygiene. Regularly practice these techniques, ideally once or twice a day, or whenever you anticipate being in crowded or energy-draining environments. By embracing these strategies, empaths can harness their unique gifts while safeguarding their emotional well-being ultimately fostering personal growth and healthier interactions with others.